about four cups of cheese um, for that amount of pasta, which was a, just a box, like a basic box. And just dump it in. Just dump it in. Don't be shy. Just throw it all in there. We got a sharp cheddar. And then we got like a light kind of mix. Oh, yeah. This is like a queso. That's cheese. Both. You want your yellow and your white cheese. At least this is what I found works the best for me. Once it gets hot enough, you know, you see over here what we're working with. You know, these guys are slowly, it's like lava. It's like golden cheese lava. And the thing is just like making sure that like every aspect of what you're making has its own individual taste. It's like making scrambled eggs in a pot, you know, just like just really just digging in there. You know, the, the, how I'm even stirring it, it's, it's important, I think. You know, instead of just like, look at me go. You know, it's just like, I could stir anything. I'm a magical stirrer person. Same gooeyness. Now, by the way, I've turned off the flame. At this point, I don't want it to cook anymore. This is what you want. You want it, this drippy, cheesy, gooeyness, you know, kind of thing that you're going for here. So I'll tell you. And an easy way to deal with that is just wrap it around the spoon with your finger. Gone. That's it. Beautiful. That's exactly where it needs to be. And I'm going to massacre the bacon into bits. Just like that. So I don't lose anything. Just like that. All minced up. It's like, it's like an omelet. <laughs> I'm going to put the bacon in the omelet. It's very malleable. It's, it's, you know, I don't want it to take up too much space. So that's that. First, let's see. If it was the bacon and all of it, but anyway, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do half bacon, half not. That's that's what we want. I want them to sink in there because I'm gonna put a top on these things, and it's gonna be fantastic. Cool. Non-stick muffin thing is all this stringy goodness. Is it just will just sizzle make a great smell? All these weird little pies. Okay, mind you, I'm gonna put like a little bit more mac and cheese on top, not too much. It's the top layer, you know, it's the top layer of mac and cheese on this before I put the uh, top buns on there and the uh cool thing is, is the heat in the oven and all the juices and stuff like that will seal the bottom to the top so you'll have a little, little pie or muffin if you're intubating and I'm going to put a little security measure on that with a little bit of butter on top this is where it gets ridiculous this is gluttony. 
its finest. Four twenty, four fifteen, I think is good. Just because a lot of the ingredients are already cooked, so I'm just really concerned about the outer layer kind of doing it. And as you can see, I put some butter on it so that really is going to soak in. It's going to bring everything together. Helps a few the holes so the little pies can breathe when they're in there and let off the steam um, so they don't overcook. And that's it. They go in the oven in a second, and then we'll, we'll have our mac and cheese and bacon. Party in your mouth? Party in your mouth. There we go. Going in the oven. Butter's already melting. Look at that. Look at that. It's glorious. It's some mashed potatoes. If I dropped it, that would suck. All right. In the inferno. Look at that. I got these other trays in there, but don't worry about that. Right in the middle. Let's get that right in the middle. Going. I'm working, you know. It's hot as, it's hot as hell in there. All right. Here we go. Doctor. Rolling. Mm-hmm. My pastry's swollen. Alright. There they go. Look at that. Those beers are so hot in there. That one kind of looks like a pig. It's a Star Wars character. Alright. This is the last step. Um, it's gluttonous. But this is what this is. This is like your um, what do we call them? Your uh, food truck? It's like your food truck coming to your house. And a little beer. Just like that much. I'm going to microwave it. Salt. That's all. That's it. This is the, this is the award winning finish. Now. Butter goes so fast in the microwave, it's ridiculous. Ugh, I hate that sound when it beeps. Have to turn it off. All right. Rarely use a microwave. I really do not. I just don't like microwaves. But anyway, here we have our, our finishing touch on these guys. A little beer butter. Bringing back the texture of everything. Doesn't need any more than that. Um, using the, you know, the paring knife. Hopefully it's a paring knife. I'm not embarrassed if someone tells me it's not. But that's what we're working on here. That's the mac and cheese. Let's put this on the plate. And I'm only gonna imagine that over here is the bacon. So, look at that. If you spin it in there, that's a great sign. You are good. Now look at that. Here we go. That's there. There we go. Mac and cheese with a little pie. Mm-hmm. Bacon. Dirty knife.
actually had a privilege to taste this earlier this month mm -hmm. or last month before and like I said that would be a good way to introduce the show for the first time yeah so it's a great American tradition so great marriage of yeah. muffins and uh, this is pie pot pie. pie pot pie bacon like you know it's just like as American as apple pie is mac say, as American as mac and cheese I think that would be more true mm. Mm. yeah yeah I think you're gonna enjoy the uh, just a straight mac and cheese one mm -hmm. that's wow that is, I mean, it has all the elements. It's, uh, it doesn't taste fatty. It tastes actually very lean, uh, but it's crunchy. Yeah. And it has some acidity in it, which is necessary sometimes to break down to um, a gluttonous affair like such as this one. Exactly. <laughs> no, like I said, this is food to just enjoy food. This is yeah. not like a. Um, you know, oh, you're on a you know, gluten, gluten free. Well, this is not. This is farthest from the gluten free. Yeah. And it actually should come with a defibrillator, I think. It could be. <laughs> I, I might have one. I might have to bring one for the next episode. 